Hey LEGO fans, it's Mike the Bricks Nerd, and today I've got a really cool Star Wars set to review. It's number 9492, it's the TIE Fighter. Comes with 413 pieces, you get four minifigures, the new Death Star Trooper, the TIE Fighter Pilot, which he has a new helmet, the Imperial Officer, and then the new R5J2. And then I look at the back of the box, uh, it looks like you have two laser rocket type things that sit below the cockpit, um, and that looks like that's all for the action. And then this set costs about $50 US. Okay, so let's unbox it and see what's inside. Okay, so it looks like you get three packs. Um, you get these, which they look like they're the brackets to hold the wings on. And then you got your assembly guide. Okay, so let's, I'm excited. Let's build this thing. So there's our finished set, now let's take a look at some of the details on it. Okay, so there's the front view of it. I'll show you a close up on the cockpit here in a second. We'll take a look at the side. The, pan the side panels were actually pretty easy to build. The whole model itself, it, it took, um, well I'm filming so it's kind of hard to say, but it probably was about an hour and a half to put together. There's the side view there. It would be like a top view and then there's the bottom and it's it's pretty sturdy for the most part so you're gonna be able to play with it pretty good here's the rockets that shoot out they're just you know push out ones the laser rockets so they just kind of shoot out like that and then here's a close-up look uh the cockpit um it actually has two doors that open like you can just open this front one here or it will completely open up all the way. There we got the TIE pilot in there. Uh, 
this is his control panel. It just kind of slides down so it's easier to get the figure in there. And then just pop that back up. And then you can just close this up. And then here's just a closer look at the top. And then the back side. And the bottom. Now we'll take a look at the minifigures. This is the new Death Star Trooper, the new design. Um, what's new about them is the helmet has been redesigned. And then you also get uh, the new face. He does come with the gun. If you guys remember the old helmet, it was kind of just a plain <laughs> bucket looking thing. Um, so yeah, they did a nice design on this. He also does have the double-sided face. So he gets that one there, which that one's pretty cool. I like that one. And then there's the TIE Fighter Pilot, which he does actually have a redesigned helmet. There's just a few things that they um, made new on it, even though they didn't mention it on the box. That's pretty cool. And then he does have uh, an actual face underneath, which is mostly blacked out. And then you get your standard Imperial officer done out in the gray. He does have the black hands on this. And comes with his Imperial cap. And then you do get the new R5J2, which this is actually new. This is the first time that he has been out in any of the sets. So that's pretty cool. Just the plain back, graphics on the front. So this is a really cool set. I absolutely love this. They've done quite a few TIE Fighters before, uh, but this one by far looks just the best. With the black and the gray, I mean, it, it looks so much more realistic. I, yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, and then also the new addition of the R5J2, because he's a completely new minifigure. They've never done him before. That's nice to add. Uh, and then the redesign on the Death Star Trooper and the fighter pilot. It's kind of subtle redesigns, just a little tweaks to the helmets and the mask and stuff. Um, but it does help. It does make him look even cooler. So yeah, I, I absolutely love this set. I was really excited to get it, and the build was pretty easy. It doesn't do a whole lot because, you know, it's just got the rocket, laser rocket things that shoot out. But, you know, that's kind of odd. I mean, look at that. Look how cool that is just flying around. So I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next build.